Hey you guys, it's Pam, your Long Beach Yogini, also your organizer and the creator of the Soul Long Beach Yoga Festival. September is a very special month. It's a month where we are observing yoga, the practice of yoga, as well as the yoga lifestyle. And that's what the Soul Long Beach Yoga Festival is all about, is showing people this very beautiful gift called yoga and sharing with them all the different aspects of the yoga practice. Um, one of the aspects of yoga practice is meditation. Now, a lot of people, when you think of yoga, the first thing that comes to mind, obviously, are the poses, which are called asanas. But there's so much more to this very beautiful practice and to this beautiful lifestyle. So in honor of the festival, as well as just in observance of this month of yoga for September, like to share with you different aspects of the yoga practice so there'll be some videos that will come during the course of this month that will be about those different aspects of the practice so today you find me in my healing studio this is where I do Reiki and chakra balancing um, so before we get started we're gonna do what's called a 16 second meditation so before we get started I've got a little sage here and I'm gonna burn that sage, burn it a little bit. Sage is just to kind of diffuse any kind of negativity that may be in this space. Um, even though this is a healing space, that doesn't mean that negative energy doesn't come within this space that needs to be diffused. So that's what we're gonna do at this time. So this is called a 16 second meditation. And I always tell people that by being a yogi, they think that, you know, maybe I'm just a little bit on the tendency of the dramatic, but this meditation will change your life um, if it's done consistently. I learned this meditation practice when I took a meditation teacher's training in San Diego last year with Sujantra McKeever. He is the founder of Pilgrimage of the Heart um, Yoga Studio in the city of San Diego. He has an awesome class. He's an awesome person. He's also the person who, or rather the organization, that puts on that day of yoga in the park in San Diego. So I'm very connected to San Diego, that studio, as well as just very grateful to Sujantra for that training. So the 16 second meditation, I'm just gonna describe it, and then we're gonna do it together. You inhale for four breaths. At the end of that fourth count, you hold the breath for four counts. Um, upon the end of that four count of holding the breath, then you exhale for four counts. And then what you will do is the 16 seconds, how that comes into play is that you do four rounds of that breath work. So we're gonna get ourselves prepared for meditation. Um, the way that I prepare is that I am either gonna be seated in a chair or maybe seated on the floor. Um, seated on the floor, it could be cross legs, legs directly out in front of you. You wanna choose what feels good within your body. So I'm gonna let you um, decide what's best for you. I'm gonna be sitting in the chair just for the purposes of this um, meditation video. But you wanna take your shoes off and you want your feet to uh, make a connection with the earth. This is so that you can ground um, in that grounding process, you may want to open up the toes. You may want to move the feet about just to um, start to feel that connection to the earth below you. You want to close your eyes. It's very important because we can become so easily distracted. Then you want to tuck your chin just a little bit. Um, you can also rest your gaze, meaning you can just look out in front of you and rest your gaze rather than having the eyes wide open. You wanna tuck the chin because that allows you to get that uh, weight of your head off of the shoulders, off of your neck, back area. And then you wanna relax those shoulders down. You wanna draw them down. And you wanna place your hands somewhere where it's comfortable for you. Comfortable could be hands faced up. That's in a position of receiving. If there's something that you need to receive, that you want to receive from this meditation or from your meditation practice, we place our palms down. Um, usually this is in a position of grounding. Maybe um, you are doing your meditation in the middle of your work day and you feel that you need to ground, you need to connect. So we wanna first take off those shoes and we wanna get relaxed in whatever position we choose. 
Um, you want to start to just let your body feel heavy. In other words, let the muscles go. And then we want to connect with the breath just to find where that breath is. Sometimes we go throughout our entire day and we don't even check in with ourselves, let alone to see what our breath is doing. So just check in with the breath, do a little tiny observance of the breath. Does it seem tight? Is your breath short? Just making those um, observances. So we're gonna start with the meditation. We're going to inhale for four. So inhale for four, three, two, one and hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, and one. Inhale for one, two, three, and four. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Exhale for one, two, three, and four. Inhale for four, three, two, and one. Hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Last round, inhale for one, two, three, and four. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Release for four, three, two, and one. Upon ending that next round or the last round, keep the eyes closed and just continue that breath connection, breathing in, breathing out, making that intention right here as we sit to just let go of whatever no longer serves you in a positive way. Taking just a few breaths as we finish the 16 second meditation, consciously taking a breath in, Consciously releasing that breath, letting it go. Open your eyes when you're ready. This meditation can be used anytime during your day. It could be something that you may want to do when you first wake up in the morning. It might be something that you want to do during the course of your day. Maybe you're having a very um, busy day. Maybe it's overwhelming. So you can do the 16 second meditation. It's also appropriate, fully suitable for something that you'd like to do at the very end of your day, maybe before you um, go to bed at night. What I have found for myself in my own personal practice is that I'm a lot calmer than I used to be. When things happen, my reaction is a lot different. I don't get angry, I don't get upset, I don't get stressed out. Instead, I go to this meditation and I breathe through it. A lot of times people think, oh, when you do yoga or if you meditate, you're not going to have these issues crop up in your life. The thing is that I want you to remember and I want you to be the takeaway is that you're going to have these issues come up because we're human. So that's just what's going to happen. The thing is your reaction to that stimulus is going to be different. And that's the difference between practicing yoga and meditation and not being um, within a consistent practice. So I thank you guys for joining me today in my healing studio. Um, I hope that you will join us for the Seoul Long Beach Yoga Festival coming up February 22nd, 2020. We're going to have an amazing day planned out for you. There's going to be six yoga classes, all very diversely different. There's also going to be eight workshops on different topics about a healthy yogic lifestyle. We're also going to have food. It's going to be a vegan chef that's going to just show you just some amazing cuisine. We're going to have conscious vendors that are going to have um, different items that will help you with your healthy yogic journey. We're also going to have some healers there on that day. And you can sign up with these healers individually 
um, for the healing that's going to be given. We're going to have an acupuncturist, we're going to have a massage therapist, and we're going to have a Reiki healer. We're also going to have someone who's going to be doing an emotional body scan. So it's all really exciting. This is going to be one of the first festivals here in the city of Long Beach that celebrates inclusivity in yoga. Remember, yoga includes me, yoga includes you. Yoga is for everybody. And with that, we're going to seal this practice today with Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'm out.